This device is called a Peltier Thermal Electric Cooler. This device uses a method called the Peltier method of heating and cooling. And to put it in a nutshell, it absorbs the heat from one side of the device and removes the heat from the other so that one side of the unit becomes very cold and the other side becomes very hot. This device can be operated on any direct current up to a maximum of about 16 volts. The more voltage you use and the more amperage you use, the more heating and or cooling you can get from the unit. Connecting the unit to a simple AA battery, for example, will only change the temperature by a few degrees from the ambient temperature. However, if you were to connect the unit to a full 16 volts, you could get temperatures hot enough to cook or cold enough to freeze ice. I have seen Peltier units reach temperatures as high as 400 degrees Fahrenheit on the hot side and on the cold side to reach temperatures as low as several degrees below zero. The unit is most commonly used for 12 volt refrigerators that are used for plugging into the cigarette lighter of your vehicle for camping. However, they are also used for other things as well. I've seen incubators and chick brooders made using a Peltier unit. You can do one of two things. You can either reverse the polarity of the unit to change from hot or cold. In other words, you would connect the ground wire to the positive post on your battery and connect the positive wire to the ground post on your battery. And this would reverse the effect from heating to cooling or vice versa. The other possibility would be to simply flip the unit over. However, a heat sink should be used in most cases Otherwise, you're heating and cooling in the same area and not accomplishing as much if you're using it for applications such as refrigeration inside of a box or heating the inside of a box. A Peltier unit is only about two inches square. That makes it ideal to put into your bug out bag or carry in your pocket. Of course, you would need a power source. However, many of us have some batteries in our bug out bags. Now here, I'm demonstrating the heating property of the Peltier device. I've got a simple lawnmower battery and we're going to connect it to the lawnmower battery and see what happens. Here, this is after about three minutes, the water is beginning to boil. Now, of course, this is a very small amount of water and more water would take longer is by no means a fast way to heat to a high temperature. However, in a survival situation, if you were unable to make a fire for whatever reason, or if you wanted to do something as simple as to make a hand warmer by connecting it to a couple of AA batteries or a 9 volt battery, it could be very handy in a bug out situation the other uh, possibility is the fact if bugging out, you would in some cases not want to show your location through the smoke from a campfire. The Peltier device would offer another option to heat your water or heat your food, though slowly, and not give away your location. Multiple Peltier units can be used in succession, as shown in this picture so that you could increase your heating or cooling area. I had intentions of demonstrating as well how the unit could freeze ice, but I accidentally pulled the wire out of my Peltier unit as I was doing the last part of the video, and I didn't have another one so that I could demonstrate. So until I can get another Peltier unit, you'll just have to take my word for it that it will freeze ice. An additional benefit of the Peltier device 
is that you can reverse the entire situation and use it as a miniature generator though it will not produce much voltage but it could probably be used to charge a small battery such as a triple a or double a battery simply heat the peltier device and it will reverse the entire process and if the peltier device is heated to a temperature higher than the ambient temperature electrical current will be produced and come through the wiring or on the reverse side you could freeze the peltier device and achieve the same result one of the most attractive things about this little device is that it can be purchased for a very low price on amazon.com prices range from 489 to 699 depending upon the amount of watts that it will produce I will provide some links below or, or you may as well be able to find these units on eBay. Simply search for Peltier Thermoelectric Cooler. With a little imagination, you could easily think of dozens of applications that this unit could have in your everyday life as well as to be added to your preparations. Anything from a hand warmer to a makeshift cold pack to heating your food or freezing small amounts of ice. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found some of the information in this video useful. Please write, comment, or subscribe if so inclined. We're all in this together.